Hey everybody, it's Bert from Season Gaming, and I just got a new upgrade to my Xbox One Elite controller, and I want to kind of share it with you guys and see if it might interest you, and if you had any questions, I'm happy to answer them as well. So the main reason for this upgrade is I have the Xbox One Elite controller. It is one of my favorite controllers, however, it did come with a few caveats when buying it. Now, I have already opened this, and I had to do a uh, fix, and I'll let me show you what's go how it happens. So the rear of these grips, they do come off. It has to do with the adhesive that came with the original controller. The adhesive tends to go bad after a while, and this starts to lift, and you get what's called a flap effect, as you might see it on social media. So a lot of people have to buy new uh, ones of these. If you're inside of your 12-month warranty for the Xbox One Elite controller, they do replace the entire controller when you have situations like this. Now, when I was doing some research, I've already replaced these once, and they went bad again. So I ended up doing some research on a different route to take, and I came across Scuff Gaming. Now, Scuff Gaming, you may see them on MLG, uh, things like that, um, that have to do with controllers. They do sell their own Elite controller, I guess you could call it. That is a little bit pricey. It has a little less features and a little more less customization than the Xbox One Elite controller. They run you about about 130 to 150, very similar to the Elite controller. However, I just wanted to go with the grip package upgrade and the stick upgrade. And I have opened this, like I mentioned, I had to do some glue effect because the inside of the rubber of mine started going bad. So I've actually replaced one already, but I did want to do a light unboxing to kind of show you what comes in it and what, ha what happens. So once again, you're just getting this part of the grip, not the inner grip. In order to change this entire thing out, it has to be replaced with the entire frame. I have some seen some people that simply take these off and they re-glue them. I've heard some negative features about that, but I did do it myself and I'll show you how I did it. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed really quick and let me show you what comes in the box. Okay, so what comes in here initially is you get the grip. You might be wondering where the other one is. It's in this box and I'll show it to you in a second. But you get your grips and as you can kind of see, it is a perforated uh, lifting thing. These are curved. So they go to the curvature of your fingers. So when you come and grip them, they are a little bit more comfortable than your typical Elite. You do have three types of joysticks. I'm gonna pull out the talls just to show you what they are. So you have what is the flat design and what is the round design. And they do have a scuff gaming on the top. Just out of base comparison, I will say that they are a lot stickier than your standard Elite controller. Your Elite controller has got this grip that kind of grips onto your finger when you're using it. These are more of a sticky, soft rubber type silicone thing that grips your finger a lot more. Now, you get three of the different sizes. So these work a little different than what comes with the Elite controller. The Elite controller comes with two of the small ones. It comes with two of the medium height slash round tops that are a little bit smoother on top. And then you get another size that is even taller than that. But once again, you get two of them. So you only get two of these things and you really only have three sizes and you're stuck with the flat or the round tops. These come with one of each of the small ones, medium size, and then you have the tall one. So you get each one of those in different heights. You have the round top or the low top, or I should say flat top in this case. Let me move these out of the way and show you what else comes. So you get the standard one and the other one, I have replaced it with the Elite controller just to show you the other one and how it would come. Now I've already replaced that, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. But here you can kind of see, let me actually pull this back, the differences between the two. One is gonna have the smooth Elite controller, the Microsoft part. Here is the scuff, where it's a lot stickier, and once again, it, it rounds itself to your finger. So it's a lot nicer, it's a very soft touch. I actually like this quite a bit. You do come with a piece to actually uh, pull the controller apart, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Mine broke, um, uh, it came broken, so I had to actually use one of my own tools. And you have double-sided tape that you put when you uh, put it on, I'll show you how that works. You also get some instructions. This is pretty common sense, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I'll move this out of the way. But these are all magnetized, so let me uh, pull the standard ones off. You have the flat and round, and they stick on just as smooth as the natural um, Xbox One Elite ones that come. They have little S's on the top. I will say I will be using the scuff a lot more than the natural ones. Then you have the tall ones, and let me just replace those so you can see how tall they are. They are a lot taller. They work pretty well, okay? Now I did some, let me show you how this comes off. I did some cleaning to my controller before doing so. I do have a, a car tool thing where I can kind of get this off. Let me show you how this comes off. You stick it at the top, you literally pull, and these actually start to come off. You see here, just as I barely touch it, it starts to come off. And so then you actually grab the inside, pop it open, you hear it pop, 
Don't be too worried about it. At the same time, don't be too rough and just go out of control. So there you go. There's the inside of the controller. It's simply pop in, pop out. Here's the old piece. I said I did do a little cleaning, so I did some, some dusting to make sure I had a smooth surface. Some people do use the tape that it comes with. I'm not gonna use the tape because the ones it comes with is pretty good. And if you were wondering, I did use the Gorilla Super Glue to fix the other side on the inside here that I was mentioning. I did some work before to make sure this worked before I did the unboxing. So that's why this has it already. This is not super glued here, but this inside piece is super glued. So I did use the Gorilla Glue. It's working really well so far. So how easy is this to put on? You literally will line up the teeth. You have six different teeth on the inside. I should say a few more, but six main ones. You literally line up the pieces and you're done. That's literally it. It's ready to go. You have the Xbox One Elite scuff upgrade now at the bottom. I have to tell you, these feel fantastic. What I like to go with, if I'm playing a shooter or something, some people like the taller ones. So they'll use the taller one to move around on their joystick. If I'm playing just a standard game that doesn't need anything, I'll use the short ones. So once again, here they are. What does this whole kit cost, if you're asking yourself? Uh, this kit uh, goes for $29.99 standard. I did find it for about $27. It was on sale on Amazon. I ended up picking it up, and I won't regret it. I like what I've got so far. I've played a few games on it just to kind of test it out, and it works really great. I see this lasting a lot longer than the standard pieces. If you want to take the standard route, I have seen the standard Xbox One Elite grips go for about $15 to $20. Bucks. Um, if you, once again, if you're inside of warranty with Microsoft, they will cover it for you, no problems. Um, these are fine. I don't have any problems with these. However, I did like these a lot more, um, and I like what I got. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, um, and hopefully you find this useful.